Tonight we're on our way to Paul's place. He's got a 2018 ski -Doo Blizzard. It's the Rev XS chassis, so that's Gen 3 ski -Doo. He's put in his old LED headlights, but he stopped short when he got to the dust cap. He wasn't sure what to do with the dust cap or the snow cap that's on the back of the bulb. One option was he was thinking about leaving it right off, which I, I advised against because any dust or snow that you get in there, one example is you're riding along and you hit a drift and that drift snow contacts the exhaust, that steam goes up and will actually go into the headlights so you'll fog up the inside of the lens. So we're going over there, we're going to check it out, I'll help him finish the installation and, and we'll put in the LED Eagle and we'll do a little comparison of, of how they look in that sled. So stay tuned. Geez, that's tight fit in there. We're getting the whole freaking sled apart. There's a little, this This has got to come off. Not off, but it's yeah, attached. Yeah, it yet. It's detached. Your vent. And then the airbox is the same over on this side too. So I just oh, slide out. Right out. Hey. Are you recording? Yep, it's recording. But you're not going to use the sound. Oh, yeah, for sure. I got to delete all of Dean's and me stories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Dino is on set, we have to delete everything out as far as the audio goes and redub it. You got to do some visual editing too because I get butt cracks in <laughs> Two at the top are now in play. These two up here. I'm telling you, the XP is so much easier. In my world, I would have just forced that out, but I probably would have broke something, right? It's actually two pieces. In my world, he says. In Gary's world. Yeah. So the, the vents are on the side there. So we could have taken that off on the sled, or no? You no. still see you, this would have been because it's screwed by that from the bottom. Right. Yep. You didn't catch that on, did you? I did. We can edit that out. I think it's the skins that you don't focus on. Yeah, you can move that. Keep it on the right side there so I know what you need to do. Like it's loose. We definitely are making progress. I think it might be this event that's open. Yeah, because it seemed to loosen. Yeah, does it clip into the edge? Yeah, it clips in. It goes all the way around. It, it actually like fits in like a like yeah, the BD2S helmet outside. lens. Right, it feels loose, but won't slide. Yes, no. Straightforward. Look at that. And then we can pull that off. Box. Okay, so now we just have to do this reverse.
Oh yeah, Paul, look at that. Nice. Just work. like that. Yeah, yeah. Now his his bulbs are a little different. Yeah. But it's the same basic principle. It's the same principle. Look how clean that is now. And then all we have to do is we'll do a little episiotomy on the edge to pop yeah, the power yeah, cord out. Yeah, oh, you don't have any kids. <laughs> That's clipped in now. Yeah. And, and then, then you gotta put your thing over top. Yeah. Oh, thanks to say, Judy. I've slid that. I've slid it and notched it. Watch this, buddy. Oh, Paulie, look at that. It's gonna work. Look how clean that is. She's in there nice and nice and clean now. Is it, uh, get that thing out of there. Got the, um... Things are pointing up. Is it pointing up? Yep. So that's how we're going to put the LED eagles in, and then that'll plug in like this. But there we go. There it is. And then what we're going to do is, make sure that's on there. What we're going to do is we're just going to run a zip tie around the outer edge, just to seal it up good. But the trick is to make sure that the, the cutting you do around every wire and around the bulb itself is tight so it'll keep as much snow dust and dirt out of there as possible. I think that would work fine and we just want to put a zip tie or something around there even electrical tape would hold that in. I'd say just electrical tape right? Vinyl tape. And that would Vinyl be great. Yeah. Yep. That would work good. Let's see if we can get your lights working. These are slightly different LEDs but just to show you another brand on here. Um, so the hardest part is actually just getting the to the bulbs, getting access, right? Some tight fit around there. The Eagle LED snapped right in. For a cleaner, easy installation, that Eagle LED can't be beat. Yeah, that one's not clicking. tight in there, but who's to say that's not going to vibrate out? Mm -hmm. Did you get it there? Maybe. I think you got it. I think I got it, yeah. You got it there. That's it there. So that's like that. And then your connector can go like this. And yours is done. 
But I say well, let's get some electrical tape and tape that around. So this is a good comparison of the LED Eagle installation compared to the uh, the row distributing LED. I like the fan, how clean that is on the LED Eagle. Plus look at the thin nicer. chintzy cable on the rail distributing LED and look at how nice and heavy duty the cable is and it's an actual cable on the Eagle LED. Still can turn that bulb so that it's the reflectors are pointing up. Just make sure it's pushed in and clicks so it locks into place. That bulb has no chance of vibrating out. There it is in there. And it's just a matter of reassembling the sled and testing it. Demonstration as well. Perfect. There, I the click there. Yeah, you want to give her a wiggle just to test. At least don't want them falling out when you're riding, right? Both side there. Again. Yeah. I think we should take the rectifiers off, and then that way it's just the right. So you just the fight with. Yeah. There, and then that's all we're dealing with, right? So. so that's all assembled. We're just gonna put this thing back together, and then uh, at this point in the game, I would normally test them, but you already use these lights. You know what they are. No. Yeah, that's the thing. This has to be done the way we did it, where we're taking the whole thing apart. Because there's no, you can't even slide those bulbs out to and slide and them this in. Thing doesn't come out. Yeah. Look at how clean that looks, bud. That's a good job there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little dab of silicone in this corner. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. We can do that. Where the wires peek out. Yeah. Let's do that. That's right here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. Good. Perfect. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, there's other blinds. Oh, okay. Same as the XP. It's always eight mil to pull that apart. But I'm telling you, you can get at the headlights a lot simpler, but I like this. I like the plastics on the XS a lot better. Below that bed there, perfect. Well, that fits on there nice. Even just loop, even just uh, freeform like that. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put them all in for us and then. So you can wind up then you can take. 
Well, thank you for letting us dock to your sled like this. <laughs> Hasn't even seen the trails yet. No. <laughs> right? Hey, That's but crazy. it'll be the brightest one out there. And it slides into these. Uh, right there, yep. So they go in here. So that goes into here, and then you've got ones along the halfway up as well. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's the, uh, yeah. the air box. So that, that was just that holding was that on. from going now, our holes are lined up, yep, so we're good to go. Okay, we'll fire those screws in. Yeah, there is, it'll only go one way. We're not even going to have any extra parts. It's even better. Yeah, don't forget to plug your electronics in. Probably gonna get blinded here. Not nice. You really see them shooting up through those reflectors. It's awesome. Right. Awesome. Oh, it was fun. Got her done. Yeah, buddy. Now people know how to do it in the excess. <laughs>